everyone, this is Jane, and this is my healthy habit number 39. Now, this one is to practice kindness. Now, kindness, as we know, is contagious, and it is teachable. Think about when you are teaching children to be kind to other people, or just simply setting an example for other people on how to treat their neighbors, their family members, and simply our fellow humans. In fact, this has been an especially important year to treat our fellow humans with extra acts of kindness because we don't agree with each other. And as we come together and as we stay as one humanity, practicing these acts of kindness becomes even more and more important. But what you might not realize is how practicing and producing acts of kindness improves your health. In fact, when you have acts of kindness, this is a, a kind of a warmth emotion. Uh, your body produces oxytocin, which is the love hormone, and it reduces stress, improves insomnia, increases your self-worth, and makes you feel better. It just brings your blood pressure down, improves your immune system. There are so many reasons to bring this love, happy hormone into your life on a daily basis, especially if you can practice it routinely. You can even feel these hormones when you witness acts of kindness. So when you see someone else doing something for another human being, that's just a simple, pure, beautiful act of kindness. It releases a flood of hormones in, your, in you just by witnessing this. And another thing too is it re releases endorphins, which is your brain's natural painkillers. So it reduces inflammation, it reduces pain, so it's, and it also reduces free radicals. So this is like, by practicing kindness, you can actually put anti-aging into your life by simply practicing acts of kindness. So make this a conscious effort until it comes to you just naturally. Help someone carry their groceries to a car. Help someone who needs help with anything. Just simply be kind, and not only that, Kindness in a relationship, especially a close relationship, someone like your husband or your children, someone that you see every day that maybe you just get used to them being there and maybe there's a little bit of taking advantage of that they're always there and doing things for you. Practice a special acts of kindness for them because they're in your life and you, we should always treat our families better than we treat other people and we should be treating other people well. But when you put the acts of kindness into your daily routine and something that's at the forefront of your practice as a human, your life and your health will greatly improve. So I hope you have a beautiful day and we will talk to you soon.